<laughs> Welcome back to Mom's uh, Dollar. Okay, so Kyle, we're not done talking about this, by the way. Okay. The way you summarized my joke or whatever, not even a joke, just a creative use of vocabulary, was what if, what if another person besides me pointed to like ten guys and said these guys are smooths? And like it is the it doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> when you right. said when you said we're not done with this conversation, I really <laughs> hoped that you meant the whole hide biting. Oh yeah, that was, oh, that's I wanted to hear though. more about that. It's not really a conversation; it's more like a spec script. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, what's the B plot then? Like, so wait a minute, I had Nick in a situation where he hopes talking about hide biting a man's dick off is the high point. That's yes. like that's the good future. <laughs> yeah, that's the good ending. Wait, hold on. I do want to know what's the B plot to hide biting a man's dick off and Leo freaking out. And uh, it's it's, uh, it's Fez working at the shop and taking pictures of his dick. Well, that's still the A plot because yeah, it's it's, still, it's yeah. all about Leo's uh, employment <laughs> issues. Oh yeah. no, this is a whole. This isn't that seventy show. It's a spinoff about Leo's photo hut and the wacky shit that happened. Oh, okay. We can pitch this. It's a reboot, remix, reboot, and then we have cameos this from that seventy show. Oh yeah, show. this is like after Kelso's become a cop. And Eric moved out of town to go to college. Oh, yeah. A cop also rolls in. He's like, Mr. Foreman, I hear that you bit a guy's dick off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he just, oh, you yeah. must be a cop, but you better get off my property. No, no shit. Fucking- Kelso is, like, now doing an actual investigation. Like, he's he's been told to, like, not pursue because there's oh, yeah. literally zero evidence. That's the stupidest thing I've ever Kelso, heard. Kelso, if you didn't have a fucking daughter, I'd kill you. But, like... Kelso, the only thing keeping me from kicking your ass is that badge. <laughs> Now take it off. <laughs> take off that badge. Um, yeah. He, also, you better take that badge off. I'm kicking so your he's, ass. So he's doing an investigation to try to catch whoever is biting dicks off. <laughs> and he loses a ton of sleep over it and gets real <laughs> slap happy. You can dash, you know. Hmm. Yeah. I don't care. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what's the B plot? Like Kitty, like, I don't know, like she accidentally burns dinner once or something. So she's trying to hide it. I don't know. She's trying to hide it. Just hides one and biting dicks off. <laughs> oh, hide! I can't believe you bit another man's dick off. I can't Kitty, believe you what did that. She would say dilly whacker or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You bit a man's. Tally whacker, yeah. Did you, did you bite a man's tally whacker off? Hide, you? honey. You didn't do that. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't do that. No, nobody did that. No, Mrs. Foreman, I would never do that. Why would you say that? Because <laughs> it, it was funny. <laughs> Why would you say you did? Because Leo can't tell the truth. (laughs) Because Leo doesn't know the difference between fact and fiction. (laughs) You know, Jackie's not going to want to be with a man who lies about biting dicks off. I don't know. Miss Foreman, uh, we haven't been together in years. Did they break up? Who cares? Uh, They broke up several times. Whatever. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what Jackie likes. I don't know what Jackie likes. (laughs) Oh, hide. Anyhow. So like you don't know what a woman likes. <laughs> Shut up, Kyle. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kitty's got like some actual physical problems now because of her constant drinking, and she can't. Smoking. She's like slowly trying to ease the conversation in with somebody just so she can talk about it. But yeah. all anybody wants to talk about is this like presumed dick biter. <laughs> <laughs> Red's already had four strokes this month, and I can't stop drinking. Uh, Ever since uh, he uh. beat up that cop. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason they didn't arrest him was because it was Kelso, and they assumed he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> and Eric uh. won't call anymore. Why won't Eric call? He lives in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he came back for, like, the final season. And, like, yeah, got but then back. he went back, presumably. No, like, they, they, the show ended before they could discover yeah, what happened. Yeah, I thought that was the whole thing, was that he just goes off to college, and that's how they justified it being over. Well, because <laughs> he goes to the Peace Corps in Africa, and then, like, some new fucker comes in to town. And no and, one likes. And then Donna's like, ew, gross, oh. I like you, but ew. And then, like, that's that's the whole plot. The and end. <laughs> and then, yeah, fucking Eric comes back. So, yeah. Oh, that's the B plot is Eric died in the Peace Corps. <laughs> okay. he, he went back. <laughs> or no, he's uh, he's not written back in in months. Ebola got... Uh, no, um, Eric got Ebola. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the sentence. And she's saying. trying to talk about it. And they're like, we're a little more concerned with more pressing present matters. Uh, yeah. And, and when they... The first time somebody mentions that there may be someone, someone out there biting dicks off. I can't do a Fez voice, but someone do Fez saying, no one's penis is safe. No one's penis is safe. <laughs> there were no penis is safe. <laughs> okay, you can stop me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean keep doing that for the rest of the episode. Oh, uh, okay. 
Oh, what are you, me? I'm glad you stopped me. If I if I could do a Fez voice, oh, I would do Oh, that. yeah, like, he's in the middle of taking one of his nudie photos, <laughs> and he overhears Leo saying something about uh, a guy getting his dick bitten off, and he's <laughs> just like, his eyes go wide yeah, with fear. Like, he just does that, oh, like, no, face. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. Huh. And he covers you himself up. You think they were about to bite my dick off? <laughs> <laughs> I better stop showing my dick to everyone <laughs> in town. Everyone in town knows what my dick looks like. <laughs> the dick biter will no <laughs> doubt be looking for me. <laughs> I'm a prime target. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the perfect crime. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many um, suspects. Yeah. <laughs> I must look like the heist of the century. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in town is a suspect. Uh, it's the Hope Diamond of Dicks to Bite. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Why did I stay in this town? And, Eric, and Eric, you have to help me get out of this town. <laughs> Eric, my dick is on... But, but he can't write back, yeah, because he's bedridden. <laughs> my, dick, yeah. my dick is on the chopping block. <laughs> <laughs> you have to help me, Eric. No, Eric doesn't cares. know if he's hallucinating that conversation or not. And, oh, looks, yeah. Oh. And, and like he, fi he finally gets word. He's like, who told you this? He's like, Leo. And he's like... It's not true. <laughs> How do you know? No, no, I overheard it's him not talking. True. Eric's, Eric's on the talking. phone. And she's like, uh, <laughs> I got a, a four-page long letter from from Fez about his dick getting bitten off. Can someone explain this to yeah, me? Yeah, he's asking a lot of questions about how you got into the four oh, legion Eric, or whatever. Oh, you don't even know. This shit is crazy. There's fucking somebody biting dicks off around town. Uh, uh, no, there is not. That's not um, real. No, I there's not. <laughs> I'm no. bringing high downtown. Uh. He's losing his shit. <laughs> Kelso hasn't slept in two days. Eric, you have to do something. Or he, <laughs> he slept in his car a lot because his wife is like, if you're going to act like that, you just got to get out of here. Who did Eric marry? I mean, whatever. Kelso I don't cop. fucking know. Uh, I didn't watch the whole goddamn show. Uh, you Kelso know more married... about it than I do, guys. Kelso married the girl that he banged, he knocked up. Okay. I mean, that stands to reason, but what girl? <laughs> you know. It was, uh, it's a one-off character. She's, like, in, like, oh, three episodes. That's hilarious. That's probably her character name in the credits is the girl Kelso knocked up. Well, they went to a the, concert. The child lock. He, he yeah. talked, he talked about, lock. like, how he knocked up this Don't chick. eat that burger. I need that boiga. I'll hit you for that burger. <laughs> I need that cheesy boiga. Hit nobody needs that cheese burger but me. I'm a ham boiga. Because you are what you eat, you see. Brap. Bro. And I, that was pretty big, so yeah, by volume, you're largely hamburger now. <laughs> I haven't even had time to digest it. I'm still containing a hamburger now. This is the episode that someone showed their friends, like, oh yeah, check it out. Yeah. These guys are hilarious. All they talk about is somebody getting their dick bitten off and how much of a, this like, by volume a person <laughs> is of hamburgers. This, they talk about someone's dick getting bit off by two episodes. For like Lent. half a fucking hour. We didn't, no one's going to know that. No one's going to last that long. Uh, I but do this is a great show to think about. This is like thinking about baseball when you need not to come. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about us talking about this. Uh, Fez being paranoid that his dick will get bitten off by a weirdo. Is that the crown dudes, Eric? A weirdo who Kelso cannot catch. <laughs> I cannot deal with this stress. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's outside the reach of the law. <laughs> Even Kelso can't find him. <laughs> and it, it, Kelso's a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no he does. Just because he has a badge, yeah, all of a sudden, yeah. Fez has respect for him. He has undue respect for him. Yeah. Even Kelso, who's the bravest policeman in the entire force, cannot catch this criminal. <laughs> And, uh, you know. Yeah, he, he thinks of it as like a fucking Sherlock Holmes and Moriarty situation. <laughs> like, this guy's a criminal mastermind. Oh, yeah. Kelso probably lets him do a ride along. <laughs> it's the only place he's safe. Oh, yeah. He's like his uh, unofficial deputy, even though Ooh. Kelso himself is probably a deputy. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, uh, Fez only asks to do a ride along because he believes that that um, that fucking Kelso is the, the dick biter. Why would you want to be alone with a dick biter? Well, because he's trying to stop him. And also, it uh, that whole situation ends with uh, Fez accidentally firing Kelso's gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I told you do not leave me, leave me alone, Kelso. <laughs> well, he, sh he shoots a hole right through the engine block, and so they're both yeah, stranded, they're stranded, and, and they have to nowhere. call for help. And then oh, yeah, and then they meet a guy who Fez panics and thinks is the dick biter, but it turns out he's just a regular run-of-the-mill rapist. <laughs> Oh, um, you are not going to buy my wait, dick. I, why can't you I just want to suck my dick. Hamburger. Um, well, I can't deal with getting my dick bit, but I can deal with a regular fuck. rape. <laughs> uh, no, it, it ends up like Fez fires oh, off fuck. Kelso's gun, 
it blasts a hole in the engine block. They have to radio in for help, and they both are trying to explain how all this happened, and they both end up crying in the middle of it. They're an <laughs> a idiotic, sobbing mess. And then, um, and then like, just at the most inopportune time, like, when the chief comes in, and uh, there's, like, a reporter that we introduced earlier, and the chief loudly says, I told you not to look into the dick biter case. <laughs> I told you not to look in the goddamn dick biter case. Excuse me? Are there you ain't no dick biter. Nobody's been to the hospital for any of this and shit. And then like the journalist runs off and gets on a public phone and, and then and then like the next day, like Red dick comes in case with a case much much larger than we thought. Oh like, yeah, the that's, red, that's, red's that's, a, that's a big part of it. That's a big part of it is uh Kelso's captain or whoever tells yeah. him he's like have you asked the, anyone at the hospital about anyone who's gotten their dick bitten off? And he's like, well, <laughs> no. no. He's like, why, would, why wouldn't you check the most obvious thing first? I well, don't know. Who's going to talk about their dick getting bitten off, Chief? <laughs> Obviously. And then, like, uh, Red sits down to read his newspaper, and on the front page you see <laughs> Dick Biter at Large in whatever that town's name is called. Yeah. And then he just looks at it and just looks up, and he's mad. He just, like, flaps it down. It's like... Dumbasses. And then he, <laughs> Dumbass. he, just, he just shakes his head and he goes down to the police station to start setting the record straight. <laughs> okay. You assholes are dumb. Ah, Red Foreman. Normally I frown upon men assaulting my officers, but in this case. <laughs> you did a fine job beating the shit out of my deputy. You did a fine, fine job beating the shit out of my patrolman there. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a finer ass kicking. Look, I want to talk to you about how somebody's talking about dicks getting bitten off. Dicks and the if biting I, If I look at the newspaper one more time, and that's a headline... I'm kicking someone's ass. And then, you know... Cocks on the chopping block. Chopping block. I think we've run this into the ground as far yep, as I can possibly I think possibly this is where the episode ends. I, I think we've surpassed the, that Russian <laughs> hole that they dug in Siberia, you know? Well, in case you guys want to know more about... That somebody shows and dicks getting cut off. The borehole. Then uh, I apologize. But <laughs> no, this, this is a borehole. <laughs> what the fuck? You're fighting like a, an angry fucking... Broccoli pubic hair. Yeah. What the hell? All right, I guess we'll beat that thing, and then we'll stop the show. I guess. Forever. We may beat this thing. It's fucking yeah, he's just going, rampaging. I don't think you've touched him once. I've hit him a few times, but he's hard to get a hold of. You can disrupt you his go. little chargey charge with a with oh, a. Now he's a beat. Uh, now he's a Doug character. Speaking of, what if there was a dick biter in Bluffington? <laughs> <laughs> Douglas, you have to watch out. Oh, it's uh, Skeeter's little brother when he grows up. <laughs> watch out for the dick biter, Douglas. <laughs> he got a taste of human flesh once, and now he can't get enough. Mr. The Jake, there ain't no dick biter. My dad said there wasn't. Okay with Douglas. Okay, Douglas, but I'm not taking those chances with my picker. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, why are you talking about dick biters again? Dale. 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 <laughs> it had to be him. It had Buddy, to be you, there ain't no dick biters. No, no, actually, no, he's, he's the actual one who's also... He's, he's, he's the starting a rumor, yeah. Hey, welcome back to Bullfington. Funny, I guess you've been hearing about that dick biter. Huh? What? What's that, Roger? Oh, brother! <laughs> <laughs> well, he grabs him by the shoulders and gets real close. There's a mad dick biter loose in Buffington. Funny. Then he bites his dick. <laughs> President Hamburger. Get that hamburger. President Hamburger. Get that hamburger. President. Ah! Are you the weather, motherfucker? Fucker. Get that no. Get that. Huh? Get that. Uh. It was Christmas, motherfucker.